we had two massive PlayStation VR announcements at State of Play as well. They were Hitman 3 is getting PlayStation VR support uh, from when it launches in January 2021. They had a trailer here where you're playing as Hitman and, and he's kind of going in and pulls out the wire and everything. And it looked really, really neat. This game uh, looks cool. I think it could be cool in VR. I, I've never really thought about Hitman in VR. But the interesting part of this Hitman announcement is that they said the entire trilogy will be playable in VR. So Hitman 3 is the end of the trilogy, but it's only the beginning when we talk about Hitman VR. We're proud to announce that we're bringing VR support to every location from all three games. So it means that the VR version, I'm not sure if it means Hitman 3 is VR compatible, or if there's a Hitman VR as a separate game to Hitman 3. I don't know yet, we don't know. Uh, it says Hitman 3 VR, but yeah, who knows what, what that actually means at this stage. Cool announcement for all you VR owners though. Great to see some additional VR content coming to the platform. On top of that, Vader Immortal was also revealed for PlayStation VR uh, coming at the end of this month on the 25th of August. This was previously a Oculus exclusive title and it looks really cool. It looks, it, it looks neat. This kind of game I think would work very, very well in VR. It reviewed pretty well when it came out on Oculus, but it really depends on the price point. My fear on this one is that they will price it too high. PlayStation always tends to price their games higher than Oculus, their VR titles especially. And given the license associated with this one being Star Wars, my assumption is this is going to be an expensive game. Jury's still out on that one. The game looks awesome though, and I am definitely going to be checking this one out at the end of the month. No word on trophies or anything like that. Hoping it has a platinum though. And that's and that's cool. So we had two pretty decent VR announcements, I think, in this in this conference, which was cool.